Hello darlings, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you're another YouTuber, let me know down in the comments and I will sub you back. Now stay safe, wear your masks, and here's the video. Hello darlings, it's Brandy here for VRC Nails. Today I am doing a birthday set for my girl Tia from Snazzy Nail Art Studio by Tia. She is so amazing. She is a true sister to me. Um... You know, we share support and love and communication. It's just, it's all love. She is positive, enthusiastic, looks, has a different look at nail art and stuff and comes up with some of the greatest ideas that, of course, I would never think of. But she, she's so talented and so amazing. There is an Instagram only collab, um, run by some of her girlfriends. Of course, my picture is there, but me and Catherine from Catherine Ford Nails, um, we're both pretty close with her and, you know, we want to do a video to wish our sis happy birthday. So happy birthday, girl. Mwah, mwah. You are a true sister to me. You are amazing. I cannot say how much I appreciate your love and support and I hope that you and your family have a wonderful day. I hope they pamper you silly and you know, you just have the best birthday possible. I love you girl, mwah, mwah. Her YouTube and her Instagram links will be listed down below as well as the link to Catherine's video. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into these birthday nails. Okay, so the theme that they went with was Mickey Mouse, which is a little hard because I just had my Glitter Girls Disney one, so I kind of had to separate. Um, these are the colors that I'm using. It's the Gel NY number 074 uh, Baby Purple, this Imali Polish number 049, and this is um, the Milky White that came in the Born Pretty um, Coon Cat thing. I didn't use the Love Carry because I filmed this video before the Love Carry, so anyways, I did want to show how much this Hollow Glitter pops. This is the best color that Emily sent me. I mean, they only sent me three, I think, so <laughs> that's all right, that's all right, um, but this one is by far my favorite, and I wanted to leave it in because... I used the glitter polish, but then I took these little black hollow Mickeys and I kind of um, organized them on the nail. I was originally going to do like a glitter mix and do it that way, but her favorite color is purple and I remembered I had this polish, so I thought it would be an easier, no fuss, no muss type of thing. Um, and these nails shine. They are beautiful. Oh, I love them. I love them. But it was very easy. I just put it right onto the wet polish, put them in the lamp, and then um, I'm going to top coat right over it. Now I'm doing the same thing on the thumb, but I'm going to pierce the thumb. And I made a little, not, well, yeah, a little boo-boo, I guess. I decided that I wanted to have the piercing on the inside of the thumb instead of the outside like I normally do um, and it I wasn't happy with it at all but the placement of the Mickeys had something to do with that as well because where I was going to pierce it I didn't want to have a, a Mickey glitter so you know when you're going into designs and stuff like that sometimes you have to think about that I do apologize for the background noise, but I turned the air conditioner off, but I cannot live without the fan. Um, it's just too hot here. I'm sorry. I don't really know a way to make it better, so please bear with me, but it's just, it can be sweltering. So, um, yeah, so with the Mickeys, I just put them, um, you know, right side up straight, you know, none of the kitty corner kind of stuff that I usually do with, um, chunky glitter. <laughs> I'm telling you that word would not come into my mind. <laughs> so here at the end, I was trying to decide where I should put that last Mickey. And of course I decided to put it so that the piercing would be on the inside of the nail and I wish I did it the other way, but now I know for sure. So 
Now here we are going to get into some Mickey decals. I do want to show, you know, they were in the regular card, like usual. I cut them off camera because, you know, it takes a minute. You have to take off that film on the front. If you don't, you're not going to be able to apply it to your nail. And usually once you wet it, if that film is still on there, it's very, very hard to separate it from the actual decal. So it's kind of like the decal is, is wasted. So I cut them, took the front off, let them soak for 30 to 45 seconds, and just slid them right on just like that. I know people will use stampers for it. They just pick the um, Mickey up right off out of the water, slide off the cardboard, and then use the stamper to um, put the decal on there. But I'm, uh, that doesn't work for me. So I'm a big fan of just sliding it right on there. And I do put water on the nail so that if I need to adjust the water decal, it will still be slippery and wet enough that I can move it. Because if it's not wet, the way you get it is the way you get it. And it's not going nowhere or it's going to rip. So, we had some nice and easy peasy Mickey faces going on here. Now, I did have some other more adult Mickey um, decals and such. But I didn't feel like it was, it was for this. I wanted my sis to have a beautiful... Um, you know, super happy birthday. None of the, none of the weird shit that I could put on nails normally. <laughs> so for the pointer finger, she loves beads. Um, especially large beads. So I found these pearls, um, that I think actually Catherine sent me in one of our friend mail swaps. <laughs> Anyways, um, I decided to do a Mickey head. Mickey, yeah, Mickey head because there's no face on it. Um, so I picked one of the larger pearls and then two of the ones that I felt were the right size because, you know, you don't want to have them. I guess you can do them the same size, but, you know, it's all personal preference. Um, but I felt like they complemented each other well. So I just am putting them on there. And they might seem a little oversized to you, but I know that she loves her beads. And the bigger, the better. So I was very happy to be able to play around with these. Because a lot of times, um, you know, people want everyday nails. And I want to do something a little bit extra. Big surprise, right? <laughs> so I'm just making sure it's all even and everything. I did decide to mat this finger and the middle finger. Because the other fingers are so shiny. And sparkly I felt like the contrast would be you know a good thing to have but I am getting all the excess um, drill gel glue off the sides because you don't want to have any lumpy bumpies or anything like that now this nail man it took me a hot minute it's just negative space like outline negative space but I didn't have no little circle stickers, so it was rough. It was rough. I'm not going to lie. In another collab that she had done, they did like a Mickey Mini thing. And I wanted to recreate her middle finger where it was the negative space um, with the stones. I mean, I did it a little different so that would fit in the color scheme that I have. But, you know, it was a little just shout out to her. You know, her style is wonderful and amazing and I love it. Now here I'm matte top coating this. Um, I just left this in because I wanted to show the um, the Mickey head one where I was making sure that I was getting the matte top coat up against and under the larger pearls so that they could get um, kind of sealed in more um, because I didn't want to go over them because they were matte and see here, yeah, I got a little aggressive there. so. Um, I probably should have took out a liner brush and tried to do it a little bit better or sooner. Um, but I wanted to secure those big pearls on there um, to make sure that they weren't going to get caught on anything or, you know, get in there or whatever. Yeah, there's a liner brush. I was going to say, I thought I did it with a liner brush. Um, you know, because you want them to be as secure as possible. But since I wanted the matte, I didn't want to go through the whole gummy jelly and the, uh, you know, the email couture 
stuff because that bulks up the nail as well. And since it's for a birthday set, you know, I figured that this would be good. But I did want to show that, um, you know, just in case you were wondering how I keep them on there. Um, that's, that's how. Okay, so actually nail piercing is what brought us together. Um, she saw a video of me doing it and wanted to show me her videos. And that's how, uh, you know, we got to know each other and became friends. So, um, and sisters after, of course. Um, so I'm trying to show here that when you want to pierce a nail, you want to make sure that you are not piercing into your finger, that there is space. Um, this nail was really flexible still, so I was having a bit of a time, um, really trying to get it through, and I think it was because of the glitter and the polish, um, you know, being so thick because I did have the polish crack and a little piece popped off. If I was doing this like for a set of nails for a client or a customer, um, I, it's very easy to, to fix up. It was not like it didn't break the nail or anything, but I kind of just left it for this because I did want to show it just so that you could see. Yeah, see, I was having a little trouble like the nail was just bending. Um, so I do have issues with, um, piercing as well. It doesn't go easy peasy every single time. Um, whether you want to go from the front to the back, that is up to you. Usually I would go from the front to the back so that, um, all the excess that gets pushed out is underneath the nail. Um, but then I end up going through the other side anyway and just wiping it off and cleaning it. You know getting that extra debris off I'm using six millimeter jump rings in here and the six millimeter means the size of the circle not the width of the metal itself so when I am going to pierce I take one side of uh, pliers and another set of pliers and I put them right near the top where the split in the jump ring is yeah, I ended up dropping it. So <laughs> here I am adjusting again. And when I twist, I do forwards and backwards and pull out just a little tiny bit. Um, and that's the best way. I mean, you can do it with your hands, but I find that it's hard to get it back into the circle shape when you pull it with your hands. Um, but that's just me personally. Um, you can use the pliers to get the hoop into the nail itself, but I find it easier to just use my hands and it just goes right through. And if you're going to put a charm, this is when you would put the charm on. And I've had this cute little Mickey charm with like, um, it's, uh, it's like some kind of ivory sort of, um, caramel looking like stone. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it came in a nail piercing set that I ordered and I just thought it was super cute and it ended up um, working out to my benefit. So now I am just reversing the process with the pliers, twisting, and then when I get them even, I will take one set of pliers and just squeeze them shut, but gently, because if you squeeze it too hard, it'll just go right past the other piece of metal and you end up having a piece of metal looking like a fish. And then you got to take it all off and start again, which is not a big deal, except it's frustrating as hell and time consuming. <laughs> okay, so this is it. This is my happy birthday Tia birthday set with the Mickey theme. I didn't really do too, I didn't do any birthday, but um, I feel like I put the elements in that I think or I know that she will love the beads, the glitter. Uh, the little shout out to her set, her Mickey set, and of course the piercing that brought us all together to begin with. Okay, here they are on if you wanted to see. Um, I really do like how the matte contrasts against the glitter and the pearls look gorgeous. Um, so Tia, I hope you love them. I hope your birthday is amazing. Um, I will have her links, both her YouTube and her Instagram down below as well as the video, Catherine's video for her birthday for Tia.
or her nail set for Tia's birthday, you know, tongue tied and all that. <laughs> Um, I will also have the list of people who participated in the IG collab, um, and I will put the link to my post of the IG stuff as well, in case you want to take a look at these ladies' nails, check them out, um, meet some new nail people. So again, happy birthday, sis. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that youtube -y stuff, and that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a marvelous day. And thanks again. Mwah.